Hello, this is Serpentster, and this is Gizmos and Gadgets by The Learning Company. It's an edutainment game that I used to love when I was a kid. I'm going to try and get past the uh, audio trouble that I'm having in the first video and hope that it's not that much of a concern with the lag. Uh, I'll see if I can improve it as time goes on. I'm kind of new with Bandicam. Um, I'm still getting used to using it. This is the first time I've tried it. Morty Maxwell, the master of mischief, has moved into the Shady Glen Technology Center and taken over as the head scientist. Your job is to accept Morty's challenge and prove that you are a better scientist than he is. Morty has locked the doors in the warehouse with science puzzles. Show him how much you know about science by solving the puzzles. So, obviously this is a science game. It's meant to, meant to teach kids basic science. And it does. I think I learned a lot from it. When you go through the doors, find the best vehicle parts, and build faster vehicles than Morty built. You don't actually have to find all the best parts, but it helps if you have mostly the best parts. To make your job more difficult, Morty's sneaky cyber chimps are collecting vehicle parts too, if you turn them on. That's not perversion, that's there's an option to not play with chimps. Outsmart the chimps by throwing bananas to them and making them take a nap. Race against Morty and win all 15 of the challenge races. You will reclaim the technology center and be the head scientist. <laughs> and that's Morty Maxwell. Uh, he is taking over the technology center by climbing in through a hatch in the ceiling that he apparently had an automatic garage door opener for. And that robotic looking thing and this blue less robotic looking thing are both cyber chimps. Those are the only two types of cyber chimps you'll see them in the in the game in the warehouses. Now I think I should be able to skip this. Um but if I do, I'm not sure that I'll be able to see the intro that Marty Maxwell tells his monkeys. Or I might just not be able to see it at all. Maybe it's not in this version of the game. I'm not entirely sure why. Please excuse the music lag, it's bothering me too, but I don't know how to fix it. Press enter to sign in. I will sign in as SERP. You can play Gizmos and Gadgets with Morty Cyber Chimps or without them, this is what I meant. Uh, so you can turn chimps on to play with chimps, or you can play without chimps. Um, I think as a child I, I uh, played both ways. I think it would be kind of cheap though to show you playing without chimps because most of the challenge would be removed. Which might be fine if you're playing as a kid and you just want to solve puzzles and listen to the great music which unfortunately is lagging um, and suffer through horrible, horrible platforming. But uh, if you're an adult like I am now and you can actually handle a little bit of challenge in your life then you should probably play with the monkeys. I'm going to start in the automotive building over here. You can start in any one of the three buildings. Oh, wow. That, that audio lag. I'm going to have to do something about it. Look at the blueprint to see which parts you need to build your vehicle. We start off very simple and get increasingly complex. Um, you can run through an entire building's five levels all at once if you want to, or you can rotate between the three in any way that you choose. The only restriction is that you have to... Uh, complete the successive levels of each building in order so I can't immediately go to level 5 and then work backwards from there. Um, but I could do level 1 in all three buildings before I progress to level 2 in any of them if I wanted to, and I'm being distracted by a spider in my bedroom. You can go over there, little spider. Anyway, this is the blueprint. This will come up at the start of every level and it'll tell you which parts you need to build build your vehicle and more importantly it will tell you which parts are the best ones to use in your vehicle from each category click on the parts to get more information about them then go to the warehouse to find them Plus press enter to continue and when it says press enter you can just press on it with the mouse and click it it's kinda cool that way um, so we have wheels brakes the body of the car paint and the deco because this is a downhill racer it has actually a non-powered vehicle it is literally just a, a soapbox with wheels that will roll down a hill. That is all it is. We want the body. Vehicle bodies can be different shapes. It's amazing, isn't it? Bodies that move with the least air resistance will be the fastest. Rectangular bodies create the most drag. 
Bodies can have sloping sides. The longer the slopes, the less drag the body creates. Fiberglass can be shaped into a smooth body that will move with very little air resistance. So there it's telling you that um, you should avoid the rectangular bodies because they create the most drag that you want to avoid, because that's air resistance, and fiberglass is the best. Um, they're usually a little bit more clear about what is the best. And the body, I think, remains the same for all five levels of the uh, the automotive game. The brakes! All of the braking systems available to you are the same. The brakes will not affect how fast the car can go, so you don't have to pay attention to them. But if you want to know, each system has a stopping brake to slow down the car and a parking brake that keeps the car from moving when it is parked. Convenient. Although, we're only going to use it for this one race, so I guess it's just a stop at the end. And the wheel. Most soap, boss blah 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 blah. Most soap box vehicles, I told you that's what this was, have either metal bushings or self-lubricating bushings inside of the wheels. Self-lubricating bushings are better at reducing so the friction that slows the wheels down. So it's better at, at, uh, at making you slow down less. Yeah, it actually uses technical terms for everything, which I think is brilliant because um, that way you learn a little bit of the engineering and, and uh, you're using real terms. So yeah, um, I, I probably learned at least somewhat, uh, at least a, a small degree of vehicle engineering from this game when I was growing up. I had a lot of fun with it. You can paint your vehicle one of four colors. The paint will not affect your vehicle speed. You do not have to paint your vehicle. You can leave it an ugly gray if you want to. However, you can see the vehicles that you won races with parked outside the building. And if they are an ugly gray and covered in rust, then you'll be able to see them from the uh, start game screen, and if that bothers you, then you should paint them. You can choose you can choose one of four decals for your vehicle. The decals will not affect your vehicle speed. In fact, the decals will only ever show up in the workshop, so they will not affect any other part of the game at all. The only thing that happens is that you get to see your vehicle looking nice and neat before you go out and dirty it all up at the racetrack. Press up to go to the warehouse and look for parts. When you have the parts you need, return here to build your vehicle. Sounds simple enough. Press enter or click on it to continue. Um, and uh, this is my character here, the Super Solver. You saw him walk up to the entrance booth. Uh, I, I think that's a him. It's, it's kind of flat chested and has no fashion sense. So we're going to presume that that's a him. And, uh, he's not actually black as far as we know. His face is f shrouded in shadow, so he could be any ethnicity, virtually any build. Um, and he's just wearing a, a puffy jacket with the, with the collar popped, and mittens, and, and he's, like, covered. He's basically the invisible man. Except with, uh, with shadow covering his face instead of bandages. New player hints. It gives these to you if you're a new player, and I thought I'd show them to you. Press the arrow keys to move around the warehouse. Press uh, the up arrow key and the sideways arrow key to jump. Space bar to throw bananas to a chimp. Enter, enter to continue. So I currently have three parts that I actually need for my vehicle. Paint and options. Uh, paint and <laughs> decals are optional. Paint and options are decalable. I have ten bananas. Uh, that's a chimp. That That's a chimp that's wandering around up there. And if I throw him a banana... Uh, he will fall asleep. If I don't throw him a banana and he runs into me, uh, he will steal one of the parts that I've collected. I currently have collected no parts. Um, whoop. But he knocks me over anyway. A chimp ran into you! Morty's chimps will take one of your parts when they run into you. Throw them bananas to make them take a nap. Um, they will also pick up, uh, these, these are the parts. They're in boxes like this. They look like little yellow and red presents. You collected a decoration! Pick, click on its picture to read more about it. I don't need to. It's a racing butterfly. Cool. Um, they'll also pick up boxes that are just scattered around the place. Oh, by the way, um, I, I'm doing long jumps. You can run and do long jumps by holding down control as well as the arrow keys. Um, you don't actually have to get a running start to do a long jump. You just have to tap the, uh, the up and across buttons, which is good. It's the same for regular jumps. Go through the gray doors to get puzzles and find more parts. Uh, move in front of a door and press up to open it. You know what? I, I don't think I've ever seen this new player hint. I think the game is bitching at me for just running around and not accomplishing anything. <laughs> I find this quite amusing. <laughs> okay. New content. 